afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our official PhD celebration for the School of Agricultural, Earth and Environmental Sciences. Uh, my name is Sally Frost. I'm the Public Relations Manager for the College, and it's my pleasure to host you this afternoon uh, for our virtual PhD celebration uh, because of COVID. We very sorry for our PhD graduates that we couldn't have a live proper ceremony for you as we normally do every year. Uh, we know what an important occasion this is to get your PhD and become a, become a doctor. Uh, but we are having an online celebration so that you can still celebrate this moment with us. Just if you're not sure of Zoom, I'm sure by this stage in the pandem pandemic, we all know Zoom. Uh, but if you don't, please keep yourselves muted so we don't have background noise unless it's your turn to speak. Uh, if you want to save bandwidth, turn your video off uh, because then it will stream better. Uh, you can toggle between speaker view and galaxy view. Uh, I prefer speaker view uh, because you see the, the screen better. And there is in the middle of your screen at the bottom, there's a chat facility. Please post your comments here, your congratulations to your fellow graduates. Uh, that's what the chat facility is for. We are recording this uh, celebration and we'll post it on our website after the event. So you will be able to view it at your leisure if you have friends who won't be able to make it today. If by any chance I'm hit by load shedding or some other disaster, my co-host is Intercausal Gladler and she will take over from me. But hopefully we won't have any any problems. Right, I think those are the main things. Um, just to reiterate, this is for the School of Agriculture, Earth and Environmental Sciences. If you are a PhD graduate from chemistry and physics, life sciences, engineering, or math stats and computer science, your events are tomorrow and on Thursday. But you are more than welcome to stay and join us in our celebration today. I'm going to share my screen quickly. Uh, what do I want to show you? I want to show you this. Just to show you the program, what will be happening this afternoon. Uh, we're going to start off with a video. I put out a call to all of you graduates to share your thoughts on graduating. And the clips that I've got back, we've put together into a little video, which we will show so you can see what this event means to all of you. And uh, then we will go on to have a word of welcome from our DVC, Prof Modi. Uh, then it will be your time to shine, where our academic leader, Professor Trevor Hill, and our Dean of Research, Professor Neil Kurbanelli, will read out the citations. And you will have a chance to respond and say your thanks if you would like to. And then the Dean and Head of School, Prof Madar, will close the ceremony at the end. Right, so those are the formalities over. Um, we're going to start with a short video. Can I ask you please, if your camera is on to turn it off because uh, it takes up bandwidth and then you'll find that the video might bunch a bit. So while we're watching the video, if everyone can have their cameras off and then you can, you're welcome to turn them on again once the video is finished. So here we go, let's watch our PhD video. Let me just share my screen. I'm just finding it. And here we go. I'm really grateful to UKZN for conferring me 
with this PhD degree in agricultural economics. It was really an exciting journey. I learned a lot. I improved myself in terms of how to do research for development work. And I hope I will contribute more to my country, Zimbabwe. Thank you. I'm very excited that I've reached uh, the very end of my academic journey. It was uh, a great journey, a journey with ups and downs, but finally I'm here to celebrate my, my day. You know, yesterday when I went through the program and I was uh, seeing familiar names of the colleagues in, in the college, and I was very um, emotional and cheery because we didn't have it easy in the past three, four years with um, COVID, load shedding, and sometimes instrumentation. But above all, um, as much as uh, the, the degree or the period itself was hard, uh, we were just uh, grateful to be alive and, and pushing through. And I just want to say congratulations to everyone. Enjoy the moment. Take leave if you have to. Spoil yourself. And thank you to the college for this special celebration for doctoral um, uh, graduates. I would like to thank everyone who contribute to this achievement, especially Dr. Njoya, my supervisor, for his diligent academic support and guidance. Uh, many thanks also to all academic support and technical staff from this School of Agriculture, Earth and Environmental Sciences for the numerous assistance during the course of my study. Thanks. I'm happy and uh, quite elated to be among the graduates today. Uh, for me to be present, is not I stand for my most important my wife and my children been there for me for the endurance even while I was away the study program. I thank them and I appreciate them. So to my colleagues that made the journey here in UK then a memorable one. I appreciate them and I thank them. So thank you all. I'm so glad and elated it's my graduation today. A journey of three years is now completed with a PhD in computational astrophysics under the supervision of Professor Yinzima, one of the very best from Cambridge University. Thanks to UKZNF for giving me the opportunity to come to learn the techniques and the axis of good research. And it is great to finish the PhD and to be graduating this season. I am uh, feeling excited at the milestone and uh, the opportunities that uh, this new qualification opens for me. I'm uh, humbled to be counted amongst those that uh, are found deserving of the qualification. And it has absolutely been a very difficult journey starting from 2018 through to 2020 when I completed my degree. It has absolutely been a very difficult journey but all thanks be to Lord Mighty Allah for making it easy for me to skill through all the others. I thank the rest of Kwanzaa, I thank South Africa as a country, and I also thank my country, Nigeria, who produced me to be a very good candidate for the program. Thank you very much. And I also uh, congratulate all of my colleagues who are also graduating today with me. Being a student in Nigeria Political Engineering has shown me the light and that make, take me to, uh, to make me one of the recognized researchers in that area of electrical engineering, most especially power quality in our system. Thank you. And also at my time educated, and I was fortunate enough to lecture and teach. So I have come in contact with various number of students. I really do hope that I've impacted everyone's lives and also my colleagues positively, and I've left a good impression at UKZN. I really do wish everyone the best going forward and uh, with hard work, determination and discipline, you can achieve success in anything you set your mind to. I'd like to say thank you again for giving me the opportunity. And uh, at the end of my undergrad degree in pure mathematics, applied mathematics and physics, 
I said I needed a challenge and now that my doctorate is done, I still need a challenge. <laughs> Remember guys, be good, do good and make a difference. Everything. It has been a journey, not so smooth, but challenging. But I thank God it's, uh, it's a success. I thank my supervisor, I thank my colleagues, I thank uh, my friends, I thank my family, especially my parents. I thank my loved ones, everyone who has been a blessing to me in one way or the other. I thank everyone. I thank um, the support I've had in the research. I thank God the support I had spiritually. I thank God the support I had, even friends who could or who were contributing emotionally also. I thank God and I and I'm happy. Um, I'm a doctor. Hillary! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Albert Modi. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor for the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science at the University of KwaZulu Natal. This college represents about a quarter of all the students that we have. Rightfully, it occupies a very important space, not only in the university, but also in the country and the world. We live in a time when we need to solve problems, and problems require science, engineering, mathematics, and a lot of other technologies. It is amazing that uh, we are here to celebrate the success of people who went through very difficult times. I know that 2020, for many of them, was the final year. But it was a very difficult last moment to complete their degrees because the whole world was affected by a pandemic. I want to thank them and congratulate them for hanging in there and making it. You have succeeded head and neck. I know that we are currently celebrating the success of our students. It is very important for us to also celebrate the success of the people who supported them. This is a moment of success for their parents. This is a moment of success for the guardians and everyone who contributed to their studies over many, many years until this moment. We thank you very much. We are particularly thankful to the people who supported the research of our postgraduate students. These people are going to make a difference. Thank you to everyone who supported the University of KwaZulu-Natal. We are very, very proud. Continue to represent this university after graduation. Right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for sending in your words on your uh, graduation. I will post that on YouTube. So if you want to watch it again, I gather it was a bit soft. So we'll put it on YouTube. And if you want to watch it at your leisure, you may. I'd now like to call on the real live Professor Modi just to say a few words before we get into the meat of the presentation. Albert, over to you. Good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much to our chairperson, our manager for public relations for putting together something so quickly in such a short space of time. And here we are, more than a hundred of us. Uh, we are here to celebrate virtually the success of 92 PhD students starting today and throughout the week. I know it is virtually in your eyes, but I can tell you for sure that I'm right when I say it is real in your minds and you will remember this moment forever. I want to mention some key words that I get 
from the people who are excited about what is happening today as they spoke before me. And those key words are a journey, a challenge, a success. And all of these are underpinned by a strong foundation of support. Congratulations, students, graduates, people with PhDs. Congratulations, supervisors. Thank you very much for your support. Everyone, friends, colleagues, this is a great moment for our college. It's a great moment for the university. I am sure all of you are going to be successful. Keep being strong and positive. Thank you so much. And I look forward to a great day today. Thanks very much, Prof Modi, for sharing those words. Uh, we'll now go into reading of the citations. Um, what we'll do is Prof Trevor Hill, who is the academic leader for the school, will read the first citations out, the first half. Uh, he will, we have a slideshow, so we'll be able to see you and your citation. He'll read it and then he'll call each of you if you would like to respond and say a few words. He'll call you to do so and you can unmute yourselves, uh, share your video, show yourselves, say a few words and then we'll move on to the next person. Uh, so Trevor, I'm going to start sharing my screen and if you want to unmute yourself. Ali, thank you. Yes, I'm here and ready to go. Guys, I just want to echo the words of Prof Modi and everybody else. A fantastic day. Uh, um, all the supervisors that are here, I'm sure can remember their graduation day. Uh, some with, with greater pride than others. And um, I, I'm sure they all remember of having a, a fantastic time in their own day as, as well. Um, Again, I'd just like to echo some of the words of the students in, in the short visit video about the journey with lots of ups and downs and that it wasn't an easy year at all. So again, congratulations on getting through the year. Um, many of you I know just from seeing examiner's reports and, and, and I have to admit to sometimes having a quick sneak and have a look at your acknowledgements in your thesis. And so I, I really do appreciate some of the tribulations and trials that you have been through over these last couple of years and, and, and well done for having got through those. Um, do me a favor tomorrow morning when this is all over and done with or those that may get out of bed a bit later, pop into your nearest bank or somewhere like that. And when they ask you for a form and they ask you Mr. or Mrs. You can say, no, that's doctor. So the very first time, I think it'd be wonderful you can go in and just say, sorry, uh, could you change that to doctor, to, to doctor please? Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, just read through each one, uh, the citation, and, and then I'll keep quiet. Um, but I'm not sure if you can see me on the screen, but um, it, it is, after all, a time of celebration. And as long as Professor Modi isn't watching too closely, um, I will make sure that I have a, I have a glass with me and that I can toast each one of you as I would like to do. So, so let us begin. Uh, Dr. Belletta, thesis title, Breeding Bread Wheat for Drought Tolerance in Ethiopia. The citation, the candidate developed new generation bread wheat lines, which are considerably drought tolerant, high and stable yielding with farmers preferred traits. The new breeds will enhance productivity in marginal and drought prone wheat production areas in Ethiopia. From this study, four scientific papers were published in high impact journals. The study was financially supported by the Alliance for, Great Re for Green Revolution in Africa. And the supervisor panel were the a dynamic duo that we'll see many times of Professor Shimlas and Professor Mark Lang. So congratulations, Dr. Belletta. Any comment? Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Trevor. Uh, Nice to meet you all on this great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> are you yeah. in South Africa or are you back home? I'm back home. Okay. Enjoy it with your family. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Sally. Uh, Dr. Boerta, thesis title, The Effect of Therapeutic Feed in Management of Severe Acute Malnutrition in Children, South Africa. Citation, 
Hospitalized South African children with severe acute malnutrition are treated according to a protocol developed by the World Health Organization. The study determined whether adherence to the National SAM treatment protocol, including therapeutic feeding, improves SAM treatment outcomes. Household food insecurity status and premature hospital discharge predicted poor SAM treatment outcomes, recovery, and possible mortality. These findings should be considered when revising and updating SAM treatment protocols. The supervisory panel of Professor Feldman and Professor Suna Kassa. Dr. Berta, are you with us today? I am. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity. This was a journey for me. It was a dream, it's a lifelong dream for me. And I'm very thankful for this. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity, my supervisors that, that assisted me day and night, and um, to all my, my um, co-doctorate candidates, congratulations. I believe all of us has, has made a rich achievement that we have been chosen by God for making a difference. So go out and make a difference. Don't keep it somewhere on the wall or in your, in your desk. Go and make a difference because you are called for this to make a difference in life. And thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. And I just want to say um, congratulations again to everybody. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Right, third candidate, Dr. Buzigi. Um, I'm not sure if you are with us today. We're not sure if, you, if you've joined us. Um, thesis title. Caregiver and child acceptability of a pro vitamin A, carotenoid, iron, and zinc rich complementary food prepared from common bean and pumpkin in Uganda. The citation a complementary food, CF, common bean pumpkin blend rich in pro, pro vitamin A, carotenoids, iron, and zinc was prepared from locally available common bean and pumpkin to address vitamin A, iron, and zinc deficiencies prevalent among rural children in Uganda. The CF was acceptable to caregivers and their children, indicating good potential for rollout. Four manuscripts have been published in high impact journals. The supervisory panel, Dr. Pele and Professor Suela. Dr. Bazigia, are you with us today? I don't see his name on the list, Trevor. Okay, okay. Well, may, maybe I just mentioned at this point also, Please forgive me if I make incorrect pronunciations and I'm slow sometimes reading the citations. You guys are doctors, you, you know all this, I don't. Thank you. Dr. Shivasa, thesis, UAV and field spectrometer based sensing for maize, phenotyping varietal discrimination and yield forecasting. Citation. The research modeled spatial land suitability for maize production using GIS and explored the use of field spectrometer and unmanned aerial vehicles based remotely sensed data in maize monitoring. The study demonstrated the utility of remotely sensed data in maize varietal discrimination, crop disease phenotyping, and yield prediction, yielding five publications. This knowledge will be useful in addressing plant disease phenotyping bottlenecks in crom crop breeding programs. And the supervisor is Professor Oni Matanga in geography. Thank you. Are you with us today? Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Prof. Yu. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Sally. Good afternoon, uh, Prof. Modi. And good afternoon, Prof. Mtanga. And congratulations to all our other graduates. And thank you very much, the invest community, for nurturing us. Thank you. Yes. Dr. Davids, um, I, I remember reading through your report. Uh, with a, it was a fantastic examiner's report. Uh, Dr. Davis, a thesis entitled Urban Sustainability and Social Ecological Systems, Linking Civic Ecology, Nature, and Ecosystem Services for the Achievement of Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. Citation, Rashida David's transdisciplinary PhD investigated urban sustainability challenges when assessing ecosystem services. 
She assessed civil ecology interventions to improve human well-being, linked these local interventions to global policy outcomes, and applied novel tools to map the improvement of ecosystem services for incorporation into policy. For environmental management, government can effectively be supported by local communities and businesses, and this can be incorporated into policy for social impact. The supervisor, Professor Rob Slotto. Dr. Davids, are you with us today? Yes, she is here. I'm not sure if she wants to say anything, though. Okay. Hi, I'd love to say something. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Professor. I really appreciate the compliment on the examiner's report. I've got so many people to thank, and like all the other candidates, you know, it's been a long and really rewarding journey, this PhD that we've embarked on. Um, but first and foremost, I'd really like to thank the Almighty, the Almighty God, Almighty Allah, for giving me this opportunity to undertake this PhD research. And I apologize for getting emotional, but it really meant a lot to me. And I feel like I was really supported and uplifted by the Almighty to give me the health and the strength and um, all the, the doors and opportunities that were opened for me to undertake the research and to finally finish it. Um, I especially thank my family for their support and encouragement throughout my studies and not only for the PhD, but for through all my degrees, even through primary school and high school and everything added up and culminated into, you know, this, this moment that I'm experiencing now. And I still can't believe that the PhD is actually done and actually passed and I'm, I'm graduating today. Um, I especially thank my husband, Fadlu, and our three amazing children, Shadid, Mishka, and Muhammad Shadli, that really supported me over the years and their sacrifices in terms of my time spent um, working on, on the research and, and, you know, time spent away from them, really, and I really thank them and I appreciate everything that they did and I pray that the research will benefit all of us, in, including them, you know, in the years to come. Um, you know, having kids gives you that extra motivation to want to improve yourself. And my work was aimed at trying to make the world a better place. So I thank them really for that, giving me that motivation and inspiration. Um, my parents, they sacrificed a lot and we've come a long way and they really raised us in a, in a beautiful way, despite the circumstances that they came out of as children themselves. So I really appreciate and thank them so much. I'm the first person to graduate from university in my family. And this really means a lot, not only to me, but to all of us, my parents, especially my sisters who are my best friends, my, um, my extended family, my in-laws. It's, it's been support, who, who basically supported me and encouraged me throughout the, the five years that this PhD um, took to complete. Um, I thank especially the amazing academics and scientists, officials and practitioners that I was blessed to work with over the years that really shaped me into this researcher that I am today, from Itaquini Municipality working with Prof. Deborah Roberts, moving on to um, UKZN and working with uh, Professor Rob Slotto and Professor Matthew Rouget. I couldn't have been more lucky to work under global leaders really in research and I feel like I was in, in the perfect space to have been able to complete um, the work and the research. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. And I apologize if I took, if I'm taking too much time, <laughs> but this really is a special moment for me as I'm sure most of everyone else, all the other candidates are experiencing as well. Um, so I, finally, I just want to say that my work was aimed at um, improving sustainability and really trying to protect and enhance management of natural environment, which we are all dependent on and the focus of my research being on ecosystem services and really trying to highlight um, the benefits that we as human beings uh, achieve and experience and uh, have access to from nature. And at the same time, you know, using that, that lens to, as, a, as a mechanism for uplifting impoverished communities. I really hope and pray that my work will have the intended impact on global sustainability and, and local sustainability and also uplifting local communities. So thanks a lot and congrats to all the other candidates. I, I pray that you all continue to be blessed to do this amazing work, contributing to research and um, you know, hopefully all of our work will have a, a positive impact on our country and on, on the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, you, you worked with a fantastic team and it sounds like you have a fantastic team at home. Make sure your family cooks supper for you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thank Rob. You.
Uh, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, Dr. Fitzgerald, uh, thesis title, Abandoning the Ark in Durban, Development, Displacement, Resettlement, and Livelihood Struggles. Uh, the citation, the subject of forced removals in South Africa has a deep and politically charged history. Influenced by theories of displacement, social justice, and human rights, this thesis investigated the resistance, relocation, and livelihood struggles of those relocated from the ARC homeless settlement in Durban. The findings highlight significant hardships for displaced people and the need to redress how relocation takes place within a context where alternative accommodation is provided. Dr. Fitzgerald, extremely well done for dealing with your supervisor, who was Professor Maharaj, for such an extended time period. Congratulations and, and fantastic achievement. Are you with us? Hello, yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. I'm just going to keep the video off because I have a whole crowd of people behind me that I'm not so sure they want to be. That's not fair. Turn it on. <laughs> Um, I would like to just say thank you to my family and friends uh, for supporting me throughout this journey and also to UK Zen. I'm grateful for a virtual um, um, graduation because I get to have them all with me while we celebrate, which is something I haven't had before, obviously, only having two or three people allowed um, to attend the graduation. Um, and I'd also like to thank my brothers who are watching from wherever they are at home or at work or um, yeah and, and thank you to my professor also for putting up with me I know I'm not the easiest person either so uh, thanks thanks prof thank you cheers dr gray dr gray's thesis was entitled environmental justice a comparative study of south durban and hillcrest the citation this study investigated the issue of environmental justice and pollution affecting the two very different communities along class and race lines. There are two interesting comparisons, the case of South Durban, a low income region, and the case of Hillcrest, an upper class area. The study examined themes related to injustices of distribution of risks, recognition, participation, and capabilities, as well as theories of environmental racism, human rights, and resource mobilization. Dr. Gray also was supervised by Professor Maharaj. Dr. Gray, are you with us? Yes, I am. Um, I would just first and foremost like to say thank you to um, Professor Bridge Maharaj for working with me for so many years across my honors, my master's and my PhD. I would also like to thank my family for supporting me throughout this process and very importantly, I would like to thank the people of both South Durban and Hillcrest. Without their contributions, I would not have been able to make this possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, Dr. Hlunga, thesis, agromorphological, nutritional, and genetic diversity analysis of Bambara groundnut. The citation. The study evaluated genetic diversity in a set of South African Barbara groundnut germplasm in order to identify some basis for crop improvement. Polymorphic SSR markers were used to identify lines that would be recommended for initiating crop improvement programs. The major outcome was considerable polymorphism for discriminating the genotypes and unbiased heterogeneity showing that the lines exhibited a considerable level of outcrossing within a range of autonomic, excuse me, auto, I can't pronounce that one very well. Would you like to help me out? Auto, auto, Dr. Schlanger, please help me out. Autogamous. Autogamous doesn't sound right. Yes, that's right. Thank you, autogamous crops. And your supervisor, who's sitting there, I can see below on the screen, laughing at me, wondering how a geography comp a geographer cannot spell or pronounce something correctly, is Professor Modi. Doc, are you with us today? I don't see her name on the list, Trevor. Ah, not at all. E even even a comment about how she managed to survive Professor Modi's supervision. Maybe Prof Modi can comment. <laughs> uh, 
Well, all I can say is that she's a very shy girl. She's probably okay. hiding somewhere behind someone and she doesn't want to be seen, but uh, not a problem. Yeah, well done to her. Yeah, congratulations. If you are with us today, well done. Okay, uh, Dr. Kasuma, breeding maize for tolerance to the full army worm, improved yield and yield related traits. The citation, the recent arrival of the full, full army worm in Africa has been severely threatening maize production. Host plant resistance has been identified as one of the most sustainable pest control options. The candidate developed new FAW resistant maize hybrids involving land race varieties and donor parents. From this study, five scientific papers were published in high impact journals. The study was financially supported by the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa and the supervisors were Professor Shimless and Professor Mark Lang. Dr. Kasuma, are you with us? Yes, thank you. Um, I would just like to say I'm very excited today. As they say, if a dream does not scare you, then it's not worth having. So I had a dream and today I've come to see it um, be realized. And I'm very grateful to all the people that have stood by me and have helped me achieve this great dream. Thank you so much and congratulations to all the graduates and thank you to our supervisors. Thank you. Great, have a wonderful afternoon. Well done. The next candidate, Dr. Kawi Kawa, Dr. Kawa, thesis, a spatially explicit approach for analyzing the landscape pattern of urban vegetation using remote sensor data and its impact on urban surface temperature. The citation, the research developed a spatially explicit approach based on remote sense data to examine the landscape structure of urban vegetation and its impact on the surface temperature in Harare, Zimbabwe. Spatially dispersed vegetation patches indicated low positive and negative spatial autocorrelation, while spatially clustered vegetation was associated with high positive spatial autocorrelation. The study showed that spatially clustered and connected vegetation produces stronger cooling effects than dispersed patches of vegetation. And the supervisor was Professor Oni Matanga. Doc, are you with us? Yes, he is here. Okay, would, would you like to share a few words? He might have bad connection, Trevor. Sure, I, yeah, just let's maybe just give him a second or two to see if he can connect up. No. Okay, well, I'm glad you're able to join us this afternoon. I, I'm sorry that you can't connect, can, not possible to connect up, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of uh, what is an extremely special day for you and well done. Dr. Mohammed. And I remember Dr. Mohammed uh, giving a presentation last year at the uh, research day and, and doing very well, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I, I do remember yours in, in particular. The thesis title, Detection and Early Warning of Lightning and Extreme Storm Events in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. The citation, the candidate investigated extreme weather and lightning that affects vulnerable rural communities within South Africa. A near real time lightning warning system was developed to detect and disseminate lightning threats and, and alerts for rural communities to improve their safety and save lives. This study contributed towards the first ever community lightning early warning system in South Africa and highlighted the risks of extreme weather faced by many rural communities of South Africa. Dr. Mohammed, I um, not only did you do extremely well, but also to put up with a panel of four supervisors. Uh, from Dr. Krulo, Professor Savage, uh, Tavatswa, and, and Mrs. Chetty. Uh, putting up with four supervisors in itself must have been um, quite an experience. So, so well done on that and, and extremely well done on, on your graduation today. Are you with us, Dr. Mohammed? Good afternoon, Prof. I'm here. Can you Great. hear me? All yours. Thank you so much for reading out my citation. Um, I just have a few thank yous. One is to those that have assisted in organizing this function. So a, bit, a big thank you to each one of you. Um, I also am grateful to the Almighty for providing me with the opportunity in pursuing my furthering my studies, as well as with the help and strength to complete my project. 
Um, I would also like to acknowledge and extend my gratitude to my supervisors. As you mentioned, there's quite a few. Um, the first one is Dr. Alistair Clulo, um, Professor Savage, Professor Tafatswa, um, Mrs. Chetty, as well as there's another one. There was a fifth one as well. That's Dr. Sheldon Stratum. Um, ah. So I'm very, <laughs> so I'm extremely fortunate to have spent um, my tertiary education as a student under their supervision. Um, the advice, guidance, as well as the encouragement and knowledge that they have imparted to me has certainly improved my abilities as a researcher. And so I'm very grateful for them for providing me with that um, sacrifice as well as with their time that they've given to my study and more um, importantly, for helping me meet that tight deadline. So a big thank you to them, as well as that I would also like to thank my family and friends, as well as my better half for giving me um, so much of support, love and encouragement during my um, tertiary education and more particularly my PhD as well as um, a big congratulations to all the graduates out there. Um, it's been a long journey for most people and I'm sure we did quite well in making it this far. As well as one last comment, uh, so those who are awake tomorrow morning, be sure to catch a small presentation of mine on SEVC. So I've just got a call uh, a few minutes ago to say that um, there's gonna be an interview tomorrow morning on the breakfast show. So those who can make that, um, I, I appreciate that. So thank you. That is brilliant news. Well done. And can I just mention, though, remember that this afternoon has been recorded and you did say he was your better half. And that has been recorded. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> thank, thank you. you well Bob. done. Fantastic. Um, Dr. Mahandi, thesis title, Knowledge, Acceptance and Barriers to Optimum Use of Iron Supplements amongst pregnant women attending Mutari City Clinic in Mansaland, Zimbabwe. The citation, knowledge, acceptance, and barriers to optimal use of iron supplements amongst pregnant women attending Mutari City Clinic in Mansaland, Zimbabwe was assessed. Pregnant women had inadequate knowledge regarding iron supplementation, but accepted that it was important. Barriers to optimum use of iron supplements included erratic supplies at healthcare centers, cultural and religious influences and side effects associated with supplementation. A pamphlet on iron supplementation was developed for use by pregnant women. The supervisors, the dynamic di dietetics duo of Dr. Pillay and Dr. Wiles. Ah, you're with us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm with you. Uh, thank you very much, UKZN team for the support. I really appreciate you were supporting me from beginning right up to the end. And I'm grateful that the journey has actually come to an end. I'd like also to take this opportunity to thank my supervisors, Dr. Kathy Pillay and Dr. Nicola Wiles. They've been very patient, very supportive. Uh, and it is because of them that I am where I am today. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my family, a special mention to my husband, to my children, to my mother and my siblings. Uh, they've been praying for me, standing by me through and through. And also to the colleagues who are graduating here today with me, I say congratulations. Thank you for working extra hard uh, for you, for us to be where we are today. And above all, to God Almighty, uh, who makes burdens lighter, I'm happy that the burden has been offloaded. Uh, thank you very much for your support, beloveds. I thank you. Yay! <laughs> Make sure, make sure they do that for the rest of the evening now to look after you. It's your time to sit back and relax. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good evening. Um, the next candidate, Dr. Mandawana, Mandawana, thesis, the efficacy and related factors of the growth monitoring and promotional promotion program in clinics of the Vembi district, Limpopo province, South Africa. The citation, growth monitoring and promotion related knowledge, perceptions and skills of nursing staff, as well as knowledge of and barriers faced by mothers utilizing the GMP program was determined. Nursing staff lacked program related knowledge and skills. Mothers were knowledgeable about the importance of GMP, but experienced barriers preventing them from optimally utilizing the services offered. Study findings should be addressed by clinics and the Department of Health in the district. 
The supervisory panel was Professor Suna Kaiser and Professor Feldman. Thank you. Doc, are you with us today? I'm not finding her on the list, Trevor. Okay. Oh, that's a pity. Well, anyway, it's recorded. So, so, so congratulations, and I hope you enjoy the rest of, of, of your day. I'm sorry you couldn't join us this afternoon. I hope you were able to be at the, the ceremony this morning. Thank you. Eva, I think it's important to highlight, even though she's not here, that this is the first Agromet PhD. And thank you to Professor Savage before he leaves UKZN. He's left us with the first Black South African Agromet PhD. Fantastic. There you go, Prof. Savage. I hope you're with us today. Enjoy. Um, Angeline, I, I remember seeing you in the video uh, a little bit earlier. So you're getting a double dip today, I see. Um, thesis title, Adoption and Impact of Climate Smart Agricultural Technologies in Integrated Crop Livestock Farming Systems. The citation, Angeline Mugia looked at the potential contribution of climate smart agricultural technologies in complex smallholder farming systems. Climate smart technologies required for responding to the challenges born out of climate change. The study findings provide guidance to development agents and policymakers on the relevant technologies to promote and of all their livelihood of adoption. The study produced four journal articles, one book chapter, <laughs> and an international conference presentation. The supervisors were the capable duo of Professor Madara and Dr. Wuchenya. Angelina, are you still with us? Yes. There we go. Thank you, you so much. Hat on. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Professor Modi, Professor Hill, and Dr. Sally. I used to be a shy girl, but now I'm very confident <laughs> after being in the UK Z and uh, I'm very thankful to my supervisors, Professor Max Dara and Dr. Mutenge. Thank you very much, UKZ, for nurturing me, for showing me that even women can do it. I'm also grateful to my parents and also to my love, Kingston Mujay. Thank you so much. I'm now a better person, a better scientist, and I'll continue to contribute to the development of my country. Thank you so much. Brilliant. And please don't take that hotter for the rest of the day. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Sally, can, can I pass over now to the Dean yes. of Research? Uh, <clears throat> I see your glass is empty, Trevor, so I think you need to go fill it quietly. I can, I can always refill. Right. <laughs> um, and to give Trevor a break, we're going to hand over now to Prof. Neil Kubanelli, who's the Dean of Research for the College, and Neil will read the rest of the citations. Neil, are you here? Yes, thank you, Sally. I must say I'm sitting here burning with envy every time I see Trevor taking a swig of his champagne. So straight after the celebration, I'm going to take a drive up and ask him to open another bottle and we can share it. <laughs> so uh, colleagues and students and, and uh, friends and graduates, uh, it's been about 25 years since I've been uh, attending graduations. And I must say, you know, this is one of the most favorite days in my calendar year. So, so well done to all of you and congratulations firstly to all those who received their degrees today. You've done very well, worked very hard and earned your degrees. Uh, and a special congratulations to those who are getting their PhDs to get today. You've actually got the highest degree that you can actually achieve. Uh, and this means that you've now become a specialist in your particular field, meaning that you have the license to go out there and make your mark in industry, academia, government, uh, and all spheres of life. So, so very well done to you. The college is very proud of you and also proud to be associated with you. So go out there and, and make your mark. So the first student I have on my list is Dr. Uh, Nkoyini Mencia. Uh, her thesis is the observed and projected climate change effects on localized drought events, a case study for sugar belt within KwaZulu-Natal, Midlands, South Africa. The citation is the candidate investigated climate change effects on localized drought events. Most similar studies rely on one or two commonly used drought industries, indices. The candidate applied a total of 17 unique indices to obtain in-depth analysis 
and conclusions on the nature of extremes for the area of study. This study derives merit in attempting to focus on small communal farmers in terms of climate related vulnerabilities of the resource poor farming communities. Uh, her supervisors were Professor Mike Savage and Dr. Alistair Clulo. Uh, Dr. Nkoyini Mencia, are you here with us today? No, she had another meeting, so she excused herself. And no, that's fine. Congratulations again. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Our next graduate is Dr. Wilson and Carter, and his thesis is the pre-breeding of common bean Thaciolus vulgaris for bean fly, Ophomia species resistance. Uh, the citation is the bean fly is a noxious insect pest causing low productivity of common bean in Malawi. The candidate used the conventional and marker assistant breeding methods and developed new genetic resources of common bean for bean fly resistance to release market preferred varieties. From this work, the candidate published five scientific papers in high impact journals. The study was financially supported by the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa. Uh, his supervisors were Professor Hussein Shemelis and Professor Melis. Uh, Nkata, are you here with us to say a few words? Five publications out of your PhD, very, very well done. He is, he is here, Neil. I'm not sure if he can has bandwidth though. Dr. Hello, Carter, do you Bob? want to say a word? Hello, Bob. Up. Oh. I am so quite happy with this great achievement. Yes, go ahead. I'm so very happy uh, with this great achievement. I have reached the very end of my academic journey. I also congratulate all PhD graduates today. They have to enjoy the day. Uh, finally, thank you to Prof. Hussein Chimeris and Professor Lob Meris for wonderful supervision. Thank you. No, well done. Well done, Dr. Nkata. Our next graduate is Dr. Omega Sibasiso in Kumalo, whose thesis is the adaptation finance and food security in South Africa. Citation, his thesis examined the role of adaptation finance in enabling smallholder farming communities to cope with climate risks and build resilience to climate change. The study found that farmers adopted diverse indicators for weather prediction and forecasting which enhanced their decisions in implementing best adaptation strategies. Increased financing, investments, and appropriate adaptation, technological transfer, and capacity building were fundamental in facilitating the transition to see, achieving resilience and food security. His supervisor was Professor Mafongoya. Dr. Kumato, are you here today? Uh, yes, I am. Sadie, do you know if he's with us? Uh, is he yes. here, Neil? Yes, uh, just to congratulate, uh, to thank uh, Professor Mafongoya for supervising me. Um, a special thank you to, to the food security team. Uh, Prof. Joyce Chicha, Prof. Budara, and Denver. And then a special thank you to uh, the Department of Forestry, uh, Fisheries, and Environment. Uh, I have some colleagues there that I wish to thank. Uh, Dr. Tsepang Makolela, Balinabo uh, Kavagali, Gilbert Mosupe, and a special thank you to Sanbi and the Umgeni Resilience Team. And then a special thank you to my mom, sisters, and then my, my family and friends. Also, Nomonde uh, Nube, Denford, Chivongote, Buisiwe, Kumalo, Mshongo, Sibonga Gonke, Spamandlam Zimela, Spamandlam Zilemu, and yeah, and also thank you to the Swaimane and Intazuga communities 
And then, yeah, thank you to everyone and thank you to all the graduate 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nkumado. And I, and I like your gear. It's nice to see that you're celebrating Africa Day, so well done. Uh, our next graduate is Dr. Esnat Inirenda. And her thesis is titled Genetic Improvement of Pigeon Pea, Pajanus Cajun, for Yield, Earliness, and Resistance to Fusarium Wilt in Malawi. Uh, citation is the grain yield of pigeon pea is low, less than 700 kilograms per hectare in Malawi, compared with the potential yield of the crop reaching up to 2,000. <laughs> Can I, can I ask if you're not speaking to please put yourself on mute. Uh, I'll start again with the citation. The grain yield of pigeon pea is low, less than 700 kilograms per hectare in Malawi compared with the potential yield of the crop reaching up to 2,000 kilograms per hectare. The candidate developed new breeding populations with high yield and fusarium wilt resistance for variety oh, development and release in Malawi. Three scientists were published from the study, and the study was financially supported by the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa. Her supervisor was uh, Professor Sage. Uh, I'm going to ask if Dr. Nyerenda is with us to say a few words. Dr. Nyerenda, are you with us? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yes, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, and go ahead and say a few words. Hello, everyone. Today I'm very much happy because uh, it was just a dream of doing a PhD, but today it has come to a reality. And uh, this channel has got, uh, it had a lot of ups and downs, but I uh, just want to thank God. But I just want to thank God for taking me through all the PhD journey. Let me also thank the Alliance for Green Revolution for the financial support. Oh, oh, For the financial support lender to me and also Can let me ahead. i think we've lost you doctor no Yes, go, go ahead. I can hear you. I think Sally, can you move on? Hello? Yes, I think it's not try once more, otherwise, we'll move on. Sure. Okay, fine. Dr. Yorinda, can you try once more? All right. I'm, I'm so excited today because I, I was just dreaming to do a PhD, but today it has come to a reality. And I know that the journey has had a lot of ups and downs, but I just want to thank God for reaching this far. Let me also thank uh, the Alliance for Green Revolution for the financial support. And uh, let, also, let me also thank uh, my supervisors, Prof. Shimeris and Prof. McLean, for all the supervisor role rendered to me. And let me also thank my family, my husband, my kids, my parents, mom and dad, my brothers and sisters, my colleagues, my friends, and uh, above all, I would also like to thank uh, uh, my employer for allowing me to go and study in the, the University of KwaZulu Natal. And also, let me also thank uh, all my colleagues we are in the same cohort. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Nyerenda. Very well done. Our next 
graduate is Dr. Bulawatife Wadupiolowu Ola Oloran. Her thesis is breeding wheat for drought tolerance, improved yield, and biomass allocation through chemical mutagenesis. A citation, the productivity of wheat has stagnated in sub-Saharan Africa due to unavailability of improved cultivars, recurrent droughts, and heat stress presented by global climate change. The candidate used mutation breeding techniques and created superior mutant populations with enhanced biomass allocation, drought tolerance, and agronomic performance. This is the first study that reported novel mutants specifically selected for better biomass allocation as a means to improve drought tolerance in wheat. The supervisor is Professor Hussein Shemelis. Dr. Ola Oluran, are you with us today to say a few words? Yes. Go ahead. I want to thank everyone, my supervisor, the ACCI team. I want to thank South Africa as a whole. This research or this program has been a journey. Uh, it has been a challenge. Um, we didn't expect the COVID um, cry, um, pandemic and what it would have caused, but we were able to overcome. I thank everyone. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you have a good celebration. Our next graduate is Dr. Nelia Nkoma Piri. The thesis is genetic improvement of cowpea, Vignia unguiculati for grain yield and yield components in Zambia. A citation is cowpea is a multi-purpose grain legume cultivated in Zambia for food security and local markets. The candidate selected breeding parents using phenotypic and high density single nucleotide polymorphism markers. New breeding populations were developed and enhanced yield and yield components for further genetic advancement and multi-location selection for variety release and deployment. The study was financially supported by the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa. The supervisors were Professor Hussein Shemelis and Professor Mark Lang. Dr. Piri, are you with us to say a few words? Yes, I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm actually, I'm so excited. I want to mention here to say I've, break, I've broken records in my clan. I'm the first one to get a PhD, and I'm hoping all our children and grandchildren who get more than that, they'll be professors. Yeah, I just want to thank my supervisors, Prof. Shumelis and Prof. Lang, and also my family, my siblings, and my husband, not forgetting my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Piri. I hope you have a good celebration tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Great. The next person on our list is Dr. Ruth Rhodes whose thesis is effect of potassium, nitrogen, and silicon fertilization on sugarcane growth and quality, nutrient uptake dynamics, and soil chemistry in two contrasting soils of KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. A citation, the major nutrients required by sugarcane are potassium, nitrogen, and silicon. To improve fertilizer recommendations, roots field and pot experiments investigated their individual and interactive effects. Ruth found that where soil potassium is high, calcium and magnesium thresholds should be increased and that subsoil potassium reserves should be taken into account. She also found that current soil silicon threshold value was insufficient for optimum yields and recommended that it be increased. The supervisors were Professor Hughes and Dr. Miles. Ruth, are you with us today to say a few words? Sally, is she with us today? I thought she was, but she's been quiet. Sure. Yeah, I think move on. Great, Dr. Rhodes, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a good celebration today. The next person on our list is Dr. Stanislas Rwandra Ghali, and his thesis is the application of geographical information systems to armed violent conflicts resolution 
in the Great Lakes region of Central and East Africa. The citation, the Great Lake region of East Africa has endured decades of persistent violent armed conflicts, despite several peace building initiatives. Stanislas Rwanda Gali's doctoral thesis examined the contribution of geographic information system to resolve the persistent armed conflict in the region. He has developed the first geo database for the region to aid in sustainable peace, be, uh, peace building and a new method for predicting areas at risk to conflict outbreaks leading to their prevention. His supervisor was Dr. Njoya. Uh, Dr. Rwanda Gali, are you with us to say a few words? Uh, yes, Prof. Um, thank you very much uh, to everyone uh, from our School of Agriculture, Health and Environmental Science, uh, especially Dr. Njoya, my supervisor. Uh, this is so exciting and also it was a challenge and thank you once again so much because I was able to discover something that I can contribute um, uh, with the hope to bring a peace in um, this African continent even beyond. And once again I want to thank to my colleagues, my friends, but I can't hide my family. Uh, my wife is here behind me, I can't hide them, and my uh, two children, they said they can't wait because I was giving her the time, the time I come too late and they can't sleep on time, but the overall, thank you so much, and God bless you. Now, congratulations, Dr. Rwanda Gali, and your, your thesis is very appropriate for today being Africa Day, and it's nice to see your entire family around there with you. One thing that Africans is very notable about, you know, noted for is to have their families around us with, with everything that we do. And I can actually see that in your, your family today. So very well done. Our Thank next, you. great. Our next graduate is Dr. Tabiso Kenneth Sateke. His thesis is the post-harvest storage potential of combined ethylene and one methyl cyclopropene on banana fruit quality. The citation, uneven ripening resulting from one methyl cyclopropene treatment to green bananas leads to the loss of millions of brands during the post-harvest value chain. Tabiso Sateke developed a customized protocol by strategically combining one MCP and ethylene as a novel post-harvest treatment to preserve the quality of banana fruit. This post-harvest strategy prolonged the shelf life of fruit destined to lucrative export markets such as the Middle East and China. His supervisor was Professor Magwaza. Dr. Sateke, are you with us to say a few words? Uh, no, Tabiso is not here. Neil? Great, thanks Ali, let's move on. Our next graduate is Dr. Happy Makuru Daudi Seringo. The thesis is breeding groundnut, Arachis hibogia, for rust resistance in Tanzania. The citation, groundnut rust diseases causes low yields, one ton by less than one ton per hectare in Tanzania, compared to the potential yield of the crop reaching up to 2.5 tons per hectare. The candidate developed new breeding families with high combining ability effects for rust resistance and kernel yield. Three scientific papers were published from the study. The study was, found, was funded by the International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics India through Tropical Legumes 3 project. Her supervisor was Professor Shimelis. Dr. Seringo, are you with us today? Yes. Hello. Yes, go ahead, say a few words. Okay, thanks, Prof. I would like to thank the, my, my supervisor, Professor Shimelis. I would like to thank my family, my son for behaving good while I was doing my studying. And I'd like to thank my, my employer for giving me the, the time for studying and if to allow me to conduct my study. And also I'd like to thank my sponsor, ICRESAT, for funding my study. Thanks a lot. 
Thank you, Dr. Stringer. I think to, to do a PhD with a little one at home, you deserve extra kudos for that. So very Thank well you. done. Thank you. Pleasure. Enjoy the rest of today. We next have Dr. Nodumiso Zanele Sosibo. Uh, her thesis is Soil Carbon and Phosphorus Dynamics Under Various Wheat-Based Conservation Agriculture Options. Um, the citation, wheat yields and profitability are reduced by poor soil quality and high fertilizer costs, and conservation agriculture could be beneficial. Now, Dumiso found that wheat maize rotation increased soil labile phosphorus, but not organic carbon stocks relative to wheat soybean under irrigation. No tillage with straw burning under dryland conditions increased SOC stocks and labile P. The higher SOC fractions increase P availability and could enhance sustainability of wheat production. Her supervisors were Professor Muchun Yerwa and Dr. Dube. Dr. Sosibo, are you with us today? I don't see her on the list, Neil. No, that's fine. Dr. Sasibu, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day today and we wish you well on this special day for you. Uh, next on our list is Dr. William Titus Suvi, whose thesis is breeding for resistance to rice yellow mottle virus and improved yield in rice in Tanzania. The productivity of rice is low in Tanzania due to the rice yellow mottle virus disease and lack of improved varieties. The candidate selected agronomically superior and RYMV resistant breeding parents and new rice families for further evaluation and variety release in Tanzania. From this study, five scientific papers were published in high impact journals. The study was financially supported by the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa his supervisors were Professor Hussein Shemelis and Professor Mark Lang. Dr. Suvi, are you with us to say a few words? I don't think so, Neil. That's fine. Dr. Suvi, wherever you are, have a great day today and enjoy the celebration. We now have Dr. Ntabaleng Tamako whose thesis was exploring agricultural knowledge systems and smallholder farmers empowerment implication on household food security. A citation, knowledge systems in smallholder farming are crucial to improve productivity and food security. The study found that knowledge emerged through internal and external opinion leaders from both formal and informal systems. Knowledge generation relied on farmer participation levels and on quick, accessible, reliable, and relevant. The study highlights the role of knowledge leadership among farmers. The supervisors were Professor Chicha and Professor Mudara. Dr. Tamako, very well done. Are you here with us today? Yes, thank you. I'm here now. Uh, thank you for the platform, Dr. Sebi. I would like to thank my supervisors, Professor Chicha and Prof. Mudara for the support the funds and the guidance throughout the journey. It has been a long journey, thank God. I would also like to thank my family. I'm very grateful to their support and love in the process. And also I'd like to thank my mentors, uh, Dr. Vongai Morgan and Dan Vanaidu in the process. And also a, a special thank you to the farmers and the community that we work with uh, throughout the project. Uh, a thank you and also to the school for the resources throughout the project. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tamako. I'm sure when you're doing your PhD, it seems like never ending, but I'm sure now that you, you know, it's, it's, it makes this day even more special. Our next graduate is Dr. Bonkankosi Samuel Vilakazi, whose thesis is tillage management impact on greenhouse gas emissions and soil health of a maize long-term trial in KZN. His citation, conventional tillage CT1 had larger nitrogen oxide and carbon dioxide emissions than no tillage, whereas NT had higher methane emissions. Greater carbon dioxide emissions from CT1 were attributed to increased decomposition in farming. 
while higher dinitrogen oxide emissions were due to improved soil aeration, gas diffusivity, and nitrification. Effluxes were increased by high summer temperatures and moisture. NT at 120 kilograms nitrogen per hectare resulted in less gas effluxes during summer while improving soil properties. Uh, his supervisors were Dr. Zengeni and Professor Mafongoya. Dr. Vilakazi, very well done. Are you with us today to say a few words? Uh, thanks a lot, uh, <coughs> Thanks for the opportunity. I think it's a great pleasure for me. I didn't, I didn't expect for, I didn't expect anything like this. Uh, I'm very, very happy. I'm, I think I'm over the moon. Uh, I would like to thank my, my family. Uh, they did everything for me. Uh, for some, my partner, my kids. I would like to say just guys keep on supporting me. My supervisor, again, she has done a lot, you know, for us. It's only I do my PhD and then we are, uh, we are over it. Sometimes I would like to say, again, I appreciate everything. And then the prof, my phone going, the de facto supervisor, I have a de facto supervisor, prof name, uh, Professor Paddy. I don't, I don't know if he's around, but that guy has been, uh, has been pushing me, has been giving me all the support. Wherever well, Prof. Padin, I'm saying thanks a lot, Prof. Padin. Uh, keep on, Prof. Much. You know, uh, uh, you supported me a lot. You gave me all the support, and then I will always appreciate you for, for the rest of my life. Uh, yeah, um, I really appreciate. Thanks a lot. Uh, to, the opportunity to, to solve frost. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Dr. Bilikazi. I can see that you're quite excited. This is a special day for you. Our next, next. Dr. Colin Lazarus Yobi, whose thesis is Agricultural Cooperatives, Financial Efficiency, Social Efficiency, and Market Choice in South Africa. Colin Yobi study determinants of the performance of agricultural cooperatives in South Africa, focusing on their financial and social efficiency. The results show that many agricultural cooperatives in South Africa are relatively financially and socially inefficient. Determinants of these performance measures are identified and results are used to suggest interventions to address the problem. The study produced two published journal articles and one conference presentation. His supervisors were Dr. Ferrer and Professor Mudara. Dr. Yobi, are you with us today? Yes, um, I'm here with you. Great, do you want to say a few words? Yes, I do. Um, I'm thankful for this opportunity um, that uh, University of KwaZulu Natal has afforded me um, from masters all the way up to PhD. Um, I would also want to thank my supervisors, uh, Dr. Fera and uh, Professor Mdara for having guided and supported me throughout the way. And now I'm at the end of my PhD journey um, successfully. And I also want to thank my family, uh, my wife, my kids, uh, my three daughters, and also everyone who has uh, contributed support to the success of the PhD journey. Thank you very much. Oh, great. Congratulations, Dr. Yobi. Well, I'm going to hand over to Sally again. I think uh, one of the great things about this day is you can now go and change all your documents, like Trevor said, from Mr. to Doctor or Mrs. to Doctor. Uh, so, so that's one of the great parts of this graduation ceremony. Sally, I'm going to hand over to you. Thanks very much, Neil, for that. Um, and just before we close, I'd ask if everyone maybe put yourself on gallery view. And if you can all, all the graduates, if you can unmute yourselves and turn on your videos and give us a good shout out to say well done to yourselves. If you can all unmute yourselves, show yourselves and make a happy noise to say well done. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 
Lions. <laughs> Nelly. Nice to see you again. Okay, I think I've muted everyone now. Thanks everyone. And it's nice to see all your faces. Um, and you're all there. Right, that brings us almost to the close of our function. I uh, just have the pleasure now of calling on the Dean and Head of School, who is Prof Fatuami Mudar, to say a few closing remarks. Prof Mudar, you can Hi, good, unmute good. yourself. Good evening, colleagues. As a Dean and Head of School of SIS, I would like to congratulate, congratulate you all, the graduates and all the supervisors in this special occasion. And let me take you back to the question that you have been asked several times and that you also ask yourself uh, when you're doing a PhD, what is PhD? There are a number of definitions that you can get from Google, but the word that I chose is the love of wisdom. And the reason why I chose this word, society like this word so much because they tie the word with a lot of things which they expect from you. Unfortunately, or fortunately, they expect you to exhibit that wisdom. And to demonstrate this wisdom, there are so many challenges that goes around with it. In your arguments, in your workforce, and whatever, even with the way how you walk, they expect you to exhibit that wisdom. And that's what PhD talks all about. As a school, as a college, as a university, we are very happy. And we are of the view that you will exhibit that wisdom in whatever you do. The UK's attend is a big brand and it's partly part of our strategic canvas as a school to exhibit this brand of UK's attend. Either around your qualifications that you attained this year as the beginning of your career. And we want to exhibit you that brand that tells around it. There could be thousands and thousands of people who attend PhDs all over the world. Because the PhD that you attend here is not the PhD of UK is attend. It's the PhD that has to compete with the whole world. And that's what we expect you as a brand of CIS, as a brand of UK is attend, you need to exhibit that. We want to congratulate you in all your future endeavors. You have published, that's the beginning of your career, Go and do that on your own. The message that I can say, tie that umbilical cord with your supervisor who supervise you now, and you've got to start tomorrow. Because that's what we want to exhibit your independency, and that's what PhD talks all about. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Go back and exhibit what I've indicated earlier on, and we're so proud of you, and you should have a very good future in you. And I, that's what I expect from you, and go and live it in all expectations. And thank you very much. Thanks very much, Prof Mudal. Uh, that brings us to the end of this evening's um, celebration. And from me, once again, congratulations and congratulations to the school. You got a third of all the PhDs in the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science. Uh, so I think you can pat yourselves on the back. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having a similar function for the School of Chemistry and Physics and the School of Life Sciences. Uh, so if you want to come support your colleagues in those schools, please feel welcome. Uh, the recording of today, I will email to everyone on the RSVP list. You should have got the program, but I'll send it again, just in case you didn't, so you have a memento. And otherwise, it's my duty to say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your special day. Remember to write that doctor in front of your name. It's, it's quite a good feeling. And congratulations to everyone and enjoy your evening. Goodbye. Uh, well done. Well done. Thank